Today on All Things 80s, we've got a really rare mask variant. Welcome back to All Things 80s. Now, a few weeks ago, I was contacted on Facebook and asked if I'd be interested in getting my hands on a rare mask variant vehicle. Now, I had no idea that there were variants of the mask vehicles, so I was immediately intrigued and I was sent some pictures and we did a deal and it arrived today. So, without further ado, let's take a look at what I believe to be the only variant in the line of mask vehicles. So here we are with our variant and I know what you're thinking, you're saying, that's not a variant, that's just a normal Thunderhawk. And that's exactly what I thought when I opened this up. However, if we compare it alongside the Thunderhawk that was very kindly given to me by Luke from Reynolds Reviews, you will see immediately the difference in color. And I really hope this is coming through on camera because in person, there's a distinct difference in color of these two Thunderhawks. Now this is not the only difference, but it's obviously the most glaring difference is the color of the plastic used. And no, this has not faded. The very first batches of the Thunderhawk were done in this color, and thereafter every other one was done in this color. And I believe it's coming through on camera quite well. Clearly a much pinker color. Now, with this being the first edition, not only do we have the difference in the color of plastic, and before we get to the second reason this is a variant, I will show you quickly that this comes with the short helmet mat tracker, which is a nice addition to my collection because I actually have quite a few of these uh, first series vehicles with short helmet drivers and just to sort of show the difference we have the standard mat tracker with the longer mask. Now I did say there was another reason that made the mask vehicle itself a variant and that is the tail lights. So on your standard everyday version you have what appears to be a red colored plastic used for these tail lights. And that's how 99% of the Thunderhawks appear with this red colored plastic. However, on this variant, the tail lights are actually cast in the same color of sort of smoked or smoked color as the the windshield with a red insert. I don't know how well that's coming across and I will try and uh, show these side by side so you can see that there is actually a difference. I may just do a, a, a close-up photograph and put that on the screen so you can see that there is a huge difference in these tail lights. So basically different color plastic and different tail lights and I have to confess when I was looking for a Thunderhawk, I looked at a lot of listings and all the listings I saw were of the standard issue Thunderhawk. I have never seen one of these. I never knew such a thing existed. So to have a variant mask vehicle in my collection does make me rather happy. Also the fact that it came with a short mask mat tracker also makes me extremely happy. So I do have pretty much most of the Series 1 vehicles with a short mask uh, driver and a long mask driver. So it's a nice collection I'm building. So hopefully you found that interesting and I'm sure many of you, if you're like me, never knew there were variants in the line of mask vehicles. So that was the rare variant of the Mask Thunderhawk and as I explained all the way through this video I had no idea there were any variants. I thought Mask was a very consistent line but there you go there was that one variant of the Thunderhawk. So hope you found it enlightening, hope you enjoyed it. Thank you all for watching with special thanks going out to the patrons. Please like, please subscribe and as always stay tuned for more videos from All Things 80s.